action turned off. <laughs> oh dear. Love it up. Love it up. Love it up. Okay, glasses on everybody. We're back in Skull Island. Ferrari shell. On the inside, it's got a VW engine. 
few of our vehicles from our Back to the Future Part 1 and Part 2 flick, a few of our vehicles that are back from the past, our Flintstones cars. For my Harry Potter fans who recently moved this blue vehicle out here, it used to be by the entrance of the theme park, and now it's for the rest of its picture car friends. For my Fast and Furious fans, I know we only have one car display there right now, but I have a feeling we might see a few more a little later on here in the tour. Uh, for Transformers, that last picture car you're seeing on display here that kind of looks like a tank, everything on the outside is actually made out of a lightweight wood material. A lot easier to move around on set, a lot easier to blow up, if need be. Ooh, but guys, looks like right now, looks like we're going to go and switch gears here. In fact, I am going to let this guy introduce our next area. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Right, in just a few moments here, we're going to take everyone yes. back in time as so we take a look at some of the picture cars, props, and set dressing pieces that were used in the first three Jurassic Park productions. Sure, one. Um, for those of you who saw Lost World Jurassic Park, you may recognize the mobile lab unit coming up here on the left hand side. In fact, I'll show you the same scene on the screen where it's featured. So this mobile lab unit, just like that tank from Transformers, it is also made out of a lightweight wood material. Looks like being dragged off the edge of a cliff by that angry mama T-Rex. That cliff is a parking structure. On our car Woo! Oh, oh, okay, looks like a few more dinosaurs got out of their cages. Oh my god, it's happening to car two. Oh my goodness, I had no idea that was gonna happen. Oh my god. No, don't worry, it's a bit you guys got spit on today. It's just dinosaur acid. It's gonna wipe them right off of your skin. So. No biggie. But one of the important things we have to deal with in all of our Jurassic movies, that would be weather. Because typically here in sunny Southern California, we get sun almost every single day. But here on the Universal Backlot, it's a whole nother story. Now, I was just showing you all that scene there from Lost World Jurassic Park. This really did film on top of a parking structure on our front lot. However, you'll notice there's rain, there's thunder, there's lightning. So we've added in all these weather effects to really emphasize this very scary scenario, which is already already pretty scary being attacked by an angry mama T-Rex. Uh, we've got the rain there, so that's CGI. We've got lightning effects, could be CGI, could be strobe lights creating that thunder. That's gonna be added in in post-production. And since we are still on that topic of well, weather, we we're actually going to go ahead and give you all a live like weather a demonstration movie. today as we head on down the hill here into our yeah. old Mexico area. Yeah. You may recognize this upcoming location from productions yeah. like Nacho Libre, Three Amigos, A Lady Gaga music video, is her Juno, Juno uh -oh, music video, uh, Purple Minds Beyond Borders filmed out here. They actually filmed two different episodes in the same location, but they call it two different areas of each episode. Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull filmed a few scenes out here. Shameless filmed part of an episode out here. Uh, but, oh, and it sounds like they've activated some of the uh, thunder. Looks like some lightning effects, right? So the thunder effects, those were all strategically placed speakers along the set. Normally that would be added in post-production, but for presentational purposes, we have them along the set. Strobe lights create that lightning effect for us today. Oh, and they've activated the rain, right? Uh, so for the rain effects, those are sprinklers shooting the water straight up into the air, allowing the water to fall down naturally to the earth, just like rain would. You know, normally at this point in the tour, this is where they turn off the rain effects. Weird. Looks like we don't have anybody up in the weather booth right now either. Okay, uh, you know what guys, no worries, you know, I'm sure I'll have someone out here in just a few moments, uh, so I do, oh, oh my goodness, okay, looks like all that rain, we just got ourselves a flash flood, make sure you keep those cameras nice and protected. Oh, I'm sure you'll all be very happy to know that all that flash flood water you see there, it's all recycled water, we just like live right back up to the very tip top of that hill. And we just saw a flash flood up close and personal, a few of us a little closer than others. Uh, but you can also recognize that location if you saw this movie, Big Fat Blogger. You can't have run the wolf, kid! Okay, we'll see about that. I love it! So after that flash flood, we're going to take it nice and easy now. We're going to hop that border, mosey right on down, our Six Points, Texas area. Now out here at Six Points, for those of you who saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you've seen this area in a bunch of scenes from that movie. Uh, specifically, the scenes with Leonardo DiCaprio and the little girl took place out here. And 
since we're officially at six points, that means at this point the tour, we're about halfway through. So here is that first friendly reminder for you. We still have that red V-cord that's located directly in the center of the tram. So if you do have a medical emergency, you drop something over the side, maybe it's an extreme bathroom emergency, you do have that as an option. Otherwise, we'll just remain seated, continue on here with the tour. There's something else you may notice around us here today, door frames, and they are all different sizes. That is done on purpose because a few of our Western Cowboys are a little on the shorter side. So what we would do is we would stand those uh, shorter Cowboys up in front of one of the smaller door frames. That way they would appear bigger, brawnier, stronger. And then maybe that female co-star, maybe she was a little taller. So maybe they cast someone like me. I'm almost six foot, not quite, almost there. Uh, what they do is they'd stand me up in front of one of those taller door frames. That way I would appear a little more petite, a little more vulnerable, if you save it, if you will. It makes sense a lot of our cowboys be on the shorter side because back in the day we were really looking for folks who knew how to ride horses so we would end up recruiting horse jockeys. Typically those gentlemen are going to be smaller in stature so definitely makes sense. Over on the left hand side here a few more sound stages out in the distance including 24 and 25. That's where The Voice normally does their filming uh, but these days that is where that new show American Song Contest has been doing their filming. I believe they actually just had their big premiere last night. Uh, and then we also have a nice little body of water out there. That is our Park Lake location, which maybe you recognize if you're one of my horror fans on board the tour. The area is also the Black Lagoon. The, the creature from the Black Lagoon. It's also the ocean and Mikhail's Navy. And then for my Desperate Housewives fans, that area was featured in an episode where they go to dump their friend's ashes and then Susan ends up falling over the side of the boat. Same location out there, so there you go. Oh, all right, looks like up next we're going to take you over to our Little Europe area today. So for those of you who are my fans of The Good Place, welcome to The Good Place, at least for those exterior shots. In fact, I know I played you all this clip a little earlier. I'm going to go and replay it up on your screens here just so you can see what this area looks like when it's fully dressed up for production versus what we're seeing out here today. Now, maybe you never watched The Good Place, no worries. Uh, maybe you're one of my Disney fans on board the tour and you recognize this area as Genopia from Princess Diaries 2, a royal engagement. It's where they have Hi, the princess Serena. parade for the royal wedding. Uh, this area was also featured, remember in the late 90s, Disney did a revamped version of Cinderella starring Brandy, Whitney Houston, Whoopi Goldberg. They used our town center area for that production. And then Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, they filmed a whole bunch of scenes out here as well. And then honestly what this area is really well known for, Monster movies. Monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein. The Wolfman, Wild Frankenstein. The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Invisible Man, Sam the Opera. Classic films are just brilliant. I mean, that Frankenstein image, flathead, old. It's one of the great icons of the world. That to me was like the essence of the universal horror film. And I was just mesmerized by the movie. Boris Karloff, Maude Cheney. I remember the original Universal Studios Mummy movie really scaring me. It's still a ring in our memories now, and we love them. And then completely opposite from those scary monster movies, over on the left-hand side, we've got this nice family-friendly set. This house was being used by a show called Home and Family, which aired on the Hallmark Channel. Uh, but they've since wrapped things up, so we have a couple new shows using this set. Uh, one of the shows is called Baking It. It's a fun baking competition series on Peacock that is currently hosted by Maya Rudolph and Andy uh, Samberg. And then the judges are a bunch of adorable, hilarious grandmas. It's a good time, six episodes. Uh, the other show that's been using the interior portion of the set, uh, that's Bel Air. So that's the new one that's based on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So about halfway through the first season, you go inside the Influencer's House. That is the interior portion of the Influencer's House. So now you know if you're following along with that show. 